Hi folks, this year I'm going to try ramping up our tomato production a bit by putting some in our deep water culture beds. Usually I just grow them in my media beds, they do really well in there, uh, but I want to produce a lot more plants. Usually I only have about six or seven going each year, so we're hoping to get about 30 uh, growing in here this year. These videos are sponsored in part by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are GrowPockets.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and TrueAquaponics.com. Thanks for your support. I started all my plants off just in some potting soil this year. These are Amish paste tomatoes here, some cherries, and this is all my kale that's going to go into the media beds. So we're going to switch things up a little bit. So to pull these out, it's very simple. You just disturb the soil a bit. I've never had a whole, whole lot of problems getting a tomato transplant. Shake off the, the soil, separate the roots, and then I just clean off the excess soil off the bottom of the roots by giving them a quick dip. First thing I need is a way to string these up and support the plants long term. So I'm just going to take a piece of baling twine and tie it to each of the net pots. And then simply just take each plant and all the way down the bottom. I'm not running the roots through or anything, I'm just jamming them all in there. Filling it in with a little gravel, pack it in a little bit, and then just set my raft in. And what I do is I take that string and jam it right into the hole, and it makes a nice snug connection in here. And I'm just cutting my twine to length. Putting it up. Now I know they make special reels and stuff for the tomatoes, but I just don't feel like using them this year. I have this baling twine. I got like 2,000 feet of it for 20 bucks, so I've been using it for the past 10 years in the various gardens and whatnot, and I still have probably 500 feet of it left. The whole process goes pretty quickly once you get into the swing of things. Basically, just putting one plant per my little raft, so the spacing on each plant is going to be about 10 inches apart. I'll leave a couple of tomatoes in my media beds. They will allow me to compare the difference between the, the two growing methods. I'm really hoping that the deep water culture takes off. It'll allow me to grow these tomatoes in the greenhouse over the summer and then save the space that I usually use for lettuce. And I can do all my lettuce in my outdoor beds. Far easier to grow out there and it stays a little bit cooler for the lettuce over the summer. The tomatoes really seem to thrive in here in the summer with the heat. So hopefully we can get mostly tomatoes in here and mostly lettuce outside. Oops. Very so often I'll yank one of these out. After the stones probably ended up in the bottom of the bed. plants are a little small still, but once they start getting a little larger, I like to tie them up, 
again with a little piece of twine. And yes, I know they make clips for this, but this is what I feel like using. And that will help keep them nicely supported. I also like to leave a little gap in there so that the plant has plenty of room to grow. I'm also going to try a few of our plants in the grow grips. It's not really what they were designed for, but they seem to hold the base okay. And I think once the plant is supported by the string, it should just sort of hold itself in the place without any problem. It would be, it would be really nice to be able to use these instead of the net pots because it's a nuisance having to deal with all that stone and spilling them like I did a few minutes ago. The chipmunks got into our tomatoes last year and dropped the whole bunch into the media beds and so they self-seeded. There's a whole bunch in here mixed in with my sad pineapple. This one's a cherry and these are the Amish paste. And I can just pull them right out, get some roots. And this is what I'm transplanting into my other deep water culture beds. So these plants were quite a bit larger. They're a little bit leggy and needed some extra support. I just planted these a couple of hours ago so they are still a little bit shocked, but they'll rebound and come right back. It'll be interesting to see what the difference is between these that were volunteers and came on their own versus the ones that I had planted and started in the potting soil. I'm also filling some of the space around the plants with just some lettuce. This will grow in fairly quickly and utilize the space that will be underneath the plants. It's a little bit harder to grow lettuce like this because I won't be able to pull the rafts in and out so I'll have to harvest in place but it still is a, a good use for this space. Two weeks later. Well a couple of weeks have gone by since I recorded the original video and never got around to releasing it so I might as well do a, a follow-up in the same video. Uh, some of these smaller plants have grown enough where they need to get tied up again spend a little bit of time doing that. These are the plants that I planted in the potting soil originally. and You can see their roots have uh, really started coming down and looking pretty good. This one that I put in the grow grip is actually holding out pretty well. It's got a couple suckers coming in. So get rid of those. And it needs to get tied up before it tips over here. The batch here that came out of the media beds looks substantially better than the plants that came out of the potting soil so I think for next year I may start everything in the media beds and transplant them this way. They're just so much healthier. This one has already set a couple of blossoms so we'll get a few early tomatoes out of it. And of course the suckers are coming in pretty strong so We'll spend a little bit of time clipping some of these off. So that's about it for the tomatoes. As long as I keep up with the pruning of the suckers and keeping the plants tied up, I should get a pretty good crop with them this summer. I have about 25 plants growing in the deep water culture beds this year and uh, hopefully they'll really take off. We're looking forward to some more homemade sauce this year and some other things. So really great having homegrown tomatoes. Far better than anything you can get at the grocery stores. Once again, thanks for watching.